Howdy wieners. What's cranking? It's your boy. I'm sitting in the car as it's raining and I just remembered that I had to let you guys know about this insane sale that Goon Squad's having on the 18th to the 28th of April. We're having Fishing Black Friday in spring. 75% off site white items if you use my code John B. If you use this code, you support me, support the channel. It allows us to keep creating content. It allows us to keep roaming around and being idiots and catching fish and breaking off on trees and logs. It's, you know, thank you. That's what I'm trying to say. But I wanted to let you guys know before this video gets kicked off, you have the opportunity to save a ton of money on GuggenSquad.com where I think it's like 30 to 40% off apparel. And you might even get a chance to win a bass boat. For, though I've heard through the grapevine. So mark it on your calendars. April 18th to the 28th. Now enjoy the video. Keep fishing. Never stop. I had a feeling. I'm, I'm staying still. Oh my, oh my god, god you. <laughs> oh, <that's crazy. laughs> What's cranking, wieners? Welcome back. We are starting today's video on the lake. No BS, straight to fishing. If you guys enjoy the bass fishing videos, then I love you because this is the time of year where bass fishing gets absolutely mi Hey, hey, can you shut up? If you guys enjoy the bass fishing content, then I love you for it because this is the time of year when bass fishing is absolutely insane in Texas. Right now it's March down south and the bass are shallow. They are cranking dragging their tits in the sand, making beds, reproducing. It's just full cycle nature. The blue bonnets are, are, are sprouting down here. The, the leaves are turning green. It's like winter's completely over, almost into like early summer at this point. And I figured today we would just film a straightforward bass fishing video. So if you like this kind of content, long form content where we show you guys how we pick apart a lake, then stick with it, stay tuned. I'm actually out here with my good buddy, Kyle. Say what's up, Kyle. What's up? You're supposed to say, what's up, Kyle? Oh, what's up, Kyle? <laughs> but uh, Kyle and I have been buddies for quite some time. He uh, he actually uh, moved to Texas a couple of years, or last year, was it? Yeah, a little over a year. Where'd you move from? Um, Utah? Illinois? California? San Diego? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, San Diego. Kyle and I have been connected for quite some time. We actually started our friendship, our relationship. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kyle and I, oh, and there we go. Nice. This is a f somewhat of an intro. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a doozy. Kyle and I actually got linked up years ago through uh, the common hobby of fishing and also cars too. So we've just remained friends for quite some time and he actually moved to Texas last year. So Kyle and I are going to be dissecting this lake over the next couple of days. This is my only second time here on this body of water. It has insane potential. They've been catching some big fish here. I had only started hearing about this lake a couple weeks ago and uh, once we actually came here and fished and I realized how amazing it was so I figured bring Kyle back here bring Kale back here bring myself back here and we do a bit of fishing but it's it's springtime and it's gonna be springtime for a lot of you northern guys so hopefully we get to shed some light on how to catch fish this time of year on a myriad of tactics right now we're starting off with the lunky log throwing a five inch around and just about any color that that we make it doesn't matter they just want something soft subtle and finessing in front of their face um actually Kyle just caught a five pounder earlier We'll roll that clip. Oh, dude, what oh, the f***? Snag it? Yeah, you snagged it. Dude, what? <laughs> what the f***? I wonder why I was fighting, fighting so, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it just popped out. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Dude, how did you hook it in the top of the head? I don't know. That was weird. We didn't even sight fish that way. He just, he just got hooked in the head. Solid second fish. <laughs> Hooked at the top. I mean, I'm not really gonna count it. Yeah, that's wild, bro. But, oh, shoot. Dude, that fish is beautiful. Yeah. Epic, dude. That was <laughs> sick. That's awesome, bro. Thank you. Quite the interesting catch there. I don't even know how that happened, but fish must have swiped at it and stuck him right in the loins. Right in the back straps. Right in the back straps. That's the best part of a bass, especially betters. But anyway, stick with us, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. Today's gonna be just a straightforward fishing fun day. Yeah, I need to get a bite. Let's crank it. John, it's not looking too good for you. No, it's not. It's a good one. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Wow. Not 
not done, not even close to being done. They fight so hard. Yeah, they do. Like they're totally different. Like, 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 Did it really? Nice, really? Nice. Choked. <laughs> oh. That's what it's like all about. Eight pounds in five minutes? Yeah. Two, with two fish? I don't want to count that one now. You want to weigh it? No. So we can keep track of it? No. We're, we're not even going to weigh fish that big. Oh, you're way, just way bigger than that today. All right, fair enough. Nice. Nice. Little guy. Little guy. I feel like grass down there. Some good grass. About time I freaking caught one. There's my first fish of the day. Absolute monster. Bib bay. Let these guys have the rest of this bank. Let's go fish something new. Cast right in front of me. Looks like there's some big ones just chilling on this rock, working kind of slow. Yeah. This one's coming up for it. You saved it. Good one. Not really. You can fish though. That was cool. That was fun. Not bad one. Three, four pounder. It's kind of off the bank a bit, showing on some rocks. Not really what they're supposed to be doing this time of year, but this lake's probably been receiving a ton of pressure as of recently. It's spring break, and you got a lot of guys just going up shallow and beating the bank, which is obviously a really good way to catch them, and we're going to be doing that today. But it's important to kind of look off the bank here and there too. Good fish. It's like my first like actual bass of the day. Caught a little stinky one earlier, but this one's quality. Nice three pounder. Oh, hook just popped out too. That is a springtime Texas bass. Beautiful, nice and fat. Very green lateral line. And it's fun on the spinning rod. God, I love catching large mouth on spinning rods. And as we always do, kiss them, spank them, send them back. I salute you. Let's get another one. Got him. Oh, that's a good fish. A good one? He's way back there. I thought he's way smaller than I thought it was. Good fish, man. Three pounder? Oh no, a little more. <laughs> that's actually really small. What the f <laughs> <laughs> It looked nice. I know what it Nice. Nice four pounder. <laughs> Doesn't look it, but it feels it. All right. It's all in the eye of the beholder, man. John, you gotta catch up, man. I do. You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Yeah. What does it look like, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Fun. It's fun. Swallowed it crazy style, too. These bass are out here just swallowing it crazy style. Look at that. Lunky down the hatch. Right now we're focusing on a bit of a shell pattern. Throwing the old lunker log around just like we did in previous video. We're gonna swing, switch some tactics up today. But for now, just to get things started, we wanna get a couple fish on our boat. How many do you think we've caught, Kyle? 10 or 15 bass already, just on the lunky. Straight lunky in it, throwing a black with red flake. I don't know why, but in clear water, I really like darker colors. Maybe it's just me, but it tends to stand out a little bit better. I think it just kind of pisses them off. Something that's like a really contrasted color, like clear water, dark colors. Yeah, it's just, it gets some, I catch more fish on these like black and blues, these black and reds this time of year, up in the shallows. Like earlier, I was throwing a different color, I'm not getting many bites, but now I switched to the same color Kyle was throwing, and now I'm getting bites, shocker. Conditions are soupy. Actually, right now, we're supposed to be getting rained on, but by the grace of the fish gods, it has not unleashed um, an absolute monsoon on us. It very well could rain later in the day, but I think we're safe. Nice and cloudy, temps are in like the mid 60s, It's just perfect spring weather. I think the only thing we could ask for is sun, just to get those fish to creep up shallow a little bit more. But these fish are all over. A lot of them are probably on beds, up in the reeds, up in the shallow sandy spots, but then you're still gonna have some fish that are in that pre-spawn mode. And then there's also probably some fish that have already spawned out that are guarding fry. So it's like that beautiful time of the year where everything's kind of in between. You can kind of pick your poison, catch them on top water, big swim baits, finessey, wacky worms. It's really the best time to get into fishing or just to fish in general. Kyle, do you want to add anything? Kyle, do you want to add anything to that? What was that? Do you want to? 
Yeah, um, for real, dude, I'm struggling. No, I mean, you know, we're just having a great time out here. Like you said, couldn't have asked for better weather. Was it's kind of like a sore lunker log. You just can't beat it. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Speaking of which. Fish. Oh, dude, that would have been perfect. <laughs> that would have been Can you perfect. imagine if I just bit it? <laughs> Speaking of which, it just, it just falls off the boat. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> precisely my point, John. <laughs> oh, we're just having fun. It's a good time. Throwing this on light spinning gear. I've got a seven foot Guggen Finesse. Perfect spinning rod. I like a longer spinning rod. Get a little bit more distance on this. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like shooting guns. Like the longer the barrel, the farther the bullet goes. Same thing goes for twigs. The longer the rod, the farther your bait's gonna fling, especially when you're throwing light finesse stuff like this. I'm using 30 pound braid, which might be a little overkill, but there's some big bass in here, so I wanna make sure I'm locked and loaded and my floral is 12 pound test and five inch long e-log. All that stuff that I just mentioned will be linked down below. Get it while it's hot. We also have a PB to break today too. Last time, one of the last times I fished with Kyle, he caught his personal best. Twice. I mean, that wasn't the last time we fished. That was like three years ago. I said ago. <laughs> one of the last times. We don't get to fish often, dude. It's, we're busy, we're busy boys. I know, man. We're busy I, bees. It's crazy, you know, you move here and you just. I know what he's about to say. He's like, I moved down here and you never want to hang out with me. Yeah, John's the only reason Go back why I to moved Cali. Here. Go back to Cali. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> I don't even know what today's video is. It's just like literally bringing you guys along with us in the boat. We're idiots, we're stupid. Last night we got out of the tequila, feeling a little hungover. It is what it is. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but there's no better remedy for a little uh, AM hangy than to toss around a lunky log in the shallows. I'm literally gonna catch it crazy style right now. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Massive. <laughs> oh, that was crazy style for sure. That was a crazy style boat flip. Smell that fire now. Oh, look at that one. That was so cool, dude. Good one. Good one. Wow, I literally flipped it in there and he just trucked it. That was so unreal. Oh, yeah, Good dude. one, yeah, that was awesome. I'm gonna get it for you? No, I got him, thank you. <laughs> These fish throw down, it's gonna jump. Oh, look at that lunky. Look at that lunky. Oh my gosh, where the hell is this fish going right now? <laughs> this is absurd. So much fun. I literally saw a little rock on my graph. I flipped in there and this fish shot up. Before I could even twitch my worm, this fish shot up and just cranked it. Man, they fight so hard in here. It's probably about a four pounder maybe. Barely hooked. Oh man. Something about, something about these fish in this lake. They just that's throw fat down. Fish. Yeah, that's the pre-spawner for sure. That fish is just off the bank, probably thinking about moving up shortly. We're gonna get our best five today. We probably shouldn't weigh them earlier, but I think now we're gonna start weighing some more fish that are over five pounds. All right, guesses. What do you think? I'm gonna say 5-1. I was literally gonna say 5-1. Oh wow, we're both wrong. 5-8, it's five and a half pounds. It's a good bass. That's a good fish. If we can get like five of these today with a nice, healthy, above 25 pound sack, we're rolling. Look at, look at the worm coming out of his, uh, his butt. Oh, as a parasite? Parasite. You guys see that? Yeah. Wild. Later. Boom! Let's get another one. Put it there, Kyle. A little bit of, little bit of uh, smack talking, a little bit of talking earlier, but in the end, still caught a fish. Still up on you. And we still need to beat Kyle's PB, which is, I think, as of, I think this year, or no, last year, you caught a, what, four, two? Is that your biggest? What? Pound bass. No, it's three, eight, Double wasn't it? Last year? Yeah, your biggest fish. Your biggest largemouth. Ever? Yeah. Eight, four. Sure. No, I'm not actually. I'm just kidding. I think That's your funny. scale was broken. Terrible joke. Terrible joke. I was trying to talk, but it didn't work. I wasn't. I wasn't picking up what you were putting down. I know. It was. It was. It didn't stick. It didn't land. No one thought it was funny. Uh. Yeah. This is just a big flat. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Little. Little. Little guy chasing some big fish out here. They're just being super finicky. I also keep messing them too, so it's partially my fault. So 
This looks all beat up. Ooh. Still love them though. Kiss him. Bye. Kiss him. Bye. I don't want this. That's for f oh, shit. Done. Cool school I'm down there. Good one. I don't know. Use your drag if you need it. That's a good one, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Use your drag. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy, bro. There you go. <laughs> that's the way I was going. I also have line wrap wow, on wow, the top. Wow. That's a really nice fish, dude. Brother. Brother. What do you have? Just keep that fish pinned. I want to see this fish. Dude. What do you have? <laughs> Kyle's looked up to a big one right now. We haven't even seen this fish yet. I think it's big, big. <clears throat> this is how my ape was fighting. Oh, I see it. Oh my god, what the f is that? I don't think it's a bass either. Is it a drum? I think it's a, I think it's a catfish. <laughs> no, I thought it was going to be a big bass. Yeah, it's a catfish. Is it? <laughs> oh my yeah, god, it's, it's a big it bass. It's channel. <laughs> Dude, I thought you had your biggest bass ever. It's a nice one. Oh god. Nice, it's all wrapped up now. Yeah, that's sweet. New leader, who this? I was like, I should have jumped. <sighs> Oh, you snack. <laughs> oh, it's a blue cat, actually. Yeah, it's a blue cat. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely do for a retie after this one. Can you bring it up here? I'm trying. Please. Hurry up, dude. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> How did you do that? You stuck him right, right in the, the fin. Right in the fin. <laughs> that's hilarious. Nice. Nice. Catch of the day. Damn it, dude. I thought it was going to be a big largey. I got so excited. Well, a little bit of drag scream has never, never hurt anyone. Did it bite it? Like, did you feel yeah, it? Yeah, it was like... That's so weird. Okay, what is he saying? Do you speak catfish? Uh, wait, hang on. Uh-huh. No, no, we haven't tried up there. You said to try down towards the dam. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we're just there. <laughs> it's biting you. <laughs> well, there you have it. Nice bite catch to throw in a uh, lunker log. Dude. Everything loves a lunker log. Even the kitties. Damn. I was so pumped for like... 10 seconds? 35 seconds. Yeah, me too. Oh, wow. Good one. There you go. Big one. Big one. Big one. Solid fish. Yeah. John, big one B. That one shot right up off the bottom for it, like they're supposed to. Didn't even have to jerk it once. Another nice one. Bit of a low there. Kyle was back there rotting on Instagram and eating pistachios. Figured we'd... That's what I do best. <laughs> figured we'd get some life back in this boat and catch a bass. Really first cast a new spot. Give him a nice soft release. He deserves it. See you, buddy. Oh, yeah, it is. Nice. I had a feeling. How's it going? Gotcha. I'm, I'm staying still. Yeah. So you're right there, and then I got a throwable down here. Fire extinguisher is right here. Green. Yep. Uh, you want me to pull the throwable out? Yeah, throwable. Yeah. Throwable. Uh, my numbers fell off, but my Texas, the registration's right there. Is it? I don't know. I haven't checked. Yeah, just that one side is. And I think one of the numbers fell off on that on on that side too. There should be one more. I'm pretty sure. But registration. The paper? No, I don't have. The, not the physical paper on me. No, I don't. Maybe. Let me see. Uh, we just, yeah, we're just filming fishing videos out here. Okay. Yeah. Y'all need to see license? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you got a few violations here. Okay. So, you got to have the TX numbers on the vessel. Okay. You got to have your registration card, your certificate number with you. Right. 
Here's the way up here. Um, so these life jackets, two of them, have to be worn to count as life jackets. Okay. Worn at all times. You got your throwable and you had a you had a fire extinguisher. Yeah, and it's it's on green if you want to check it out again. Um Do you have a soundproof device, like a horn or something? Uh yeah, I could show you real quick. Are y'all anchored or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on top of a rock right now. That's the issue. You want to yank you off or um, I could probably get off with the chrome motor just real quick. Let's just meet us out here in the middle that way we can get okay. all this stuff. I think we can pretty much remedy the, the life jacket issue. Okay. The violation is still in place that didn't count at that time. Okay. I so understand. If you guys want to go ahead or whoever, I don't care. Yeah. Two of y'all need to put on these inflatable life jackets okay. for the cow. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that for you. Sure thing. <clears throat> all this info here is at the top. Okay. Is, is yours at the top. This is the location. This is the citation so to uh, provide certificate and number. Okay. Now, uh, just a warning for the life jackets, okay? I appreciate it. No big deal. I got you. Um, got all that info here, just okay. in case you can't read my right? okay. okay. Thank you. I need you to sign here. It's not a plea deal. It's just a promise that you're yes, sir. Thank you, Judge. <clears throat> Do you have any questions about what happened here today? No, no. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Here's your copy. If you don't have any questions, you're free to go. Okay. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Be safe. Stay safe, y'all. Make sure you'll start up, okay? Okay. <laughs> Nice, dude. Well, I just had my monthly run-in with state police. I got a ticket the other day for having an uh, expired registration on my truck, and I didn't have proof of, like, paper proof of registration for my boat. My, my boat's registered, but I don't have, like, the little slip. Um, so, oh, there's a fish. I got one. So that was nice. I think I got probably a $150, $250 dollar ticket. Uh, you know, just... Don't take any advice from me, but my advice is don't be an idiot. I'm an idiot. I definitely, uh, I definitely cut corners and it's not good, but yeah. But at least we're still catching bass. I mean, that's good, right? That was good. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll freaking take Oh, sh dude. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that's weird. You going? <laughs> hey. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. I landed about a $200 ticket, but uh, Kyle and I are doubled up. And then also on top of that, I literally pull a freaking, someone else's worm. I literally pull someone else's worm out of this fish's mouth. I probably just saved this fish's life. Anyway, that's crazy. <laughs> nice one, dude, doubles. Cheers, I'm gonna send him back. Getting tickets and bass. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Eat. Boop, 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 boop. It's a decent fish, actually. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, good one, dude. Nice job. Nice one, dude. They go hard in here, don't they? Yeah. They're built differently. I thought it was another rock for a second. No. Just a bass. Is that a, is that a bass? No, it's a carp. It's a carp. <laughs> nice. It's a pretty fish. Nice uh, post. Kind of a summary of the day for John. Well, as you were saying, what were you saying? Uh, <laughs> is it about a bass? You're catching fish? Yeah, this is a bass. Okay. Um, can I touch it? Yeah, What's you can a nice touch one? it. Yeah. Yeah, about a three pounder? Do you want to weigh it for our best five no. that we haven't kept track of? No. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, it's probably a nice. Three pounder. Three pounder. Yeah. Good stuff, dude. Whoa, you hear that? was a nice plop when you released it. <sighs> it kind of seems like you're done for the day. That's, I, kind of, that's, that's kind of the drift I'm catching from. Yeah, here. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm going to pick up a glide bait. Um, I'm going to pick up a glide bait, and we're going to throw that for a little bit. And we're going to try to... Uh, I'm going to pick up a glide bait for a little bit, and we're just going to work this nice hard edge. Uh, see if we can get a big gizzard eater to, eat, to chew down on this on this lure, but uh, yeah, dude, it's been it's one of those days where you're just like, what the hell am I doing? But every good day, you know, has to end. I've had a couple really good days, so not that not that today's not good. No, I'm, but, we're having a but great honestly, time. I mean, the traffic stop sucked. Didn't enjoy that part. Of it could have been way worse if it it was been way dumping worse. rain when those guys pulled up. Yeah, just makes us sit there in the <laughs> yeah, just in the squelching rain. rain. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're having fun. It's like four right now, so we still have a couple more days, or a couple more hours. 
got a couple more weeks to stay out here and fish. With the way that I'm acting right now, I'm surprised I didn't breathalyze me. I mean, I've blown a zero. I'm completely dead sober, but I'm just like, I'm all over the place. But luckily we have tomorrow too. So to yeah. today's video is going to bleed into tomorrow. And you know, we're just kind of trying some new stuff and fishing some new water. Fished a lot of the same stuff we have this morning, but I want to try and be bop into some areas that are different. <laughs> Oh my god, you. Oh boy. Absolute giant on the glide. That's a good one. Old fish. Don't you jump, girl. I gotta grab your face. Here we go, bro. Just don't. I don't want to get a hook in my hand. That's an awkward grab. <laughs> you look way bigger down there, I will yeah. say. That was like a freaking nine pounder. Good fish though, on the old glide. Maybe they want the uh, big baits right now. We're just not having as much luck with the uh, wacky worms as we did earlier, but it's a quality bass, probably about a six pounder. Hell yeah. I need to invest in some better pliers. These things suck. These are split wing pliers. There you have it. Nice glide eater. Good fish, long Florida strain. I think it's probably like 22, 23 inches. I'm gonna get a quick weight on him and send him back. It's fun getting him on big baits like that. Good luck, let's go. Watch the attitude. Six eight, six and a half pounder. Beautiful fish. Nice dude. Love when they get freaking aggressive for big baits this time of year. Time to set her back. Man, this thing looks like a freaking Florida marsh bass. Super dark, big head. Lean, lean, and green. Brother. Ding. Let's keep catching. It is a fish, though. It is a bass. It is a bass and a large mouth. Oh, where'd he go? Did he go? Did he leave? Wait, what happened? What happened to him? What's going on? I, I don't know. know. What happened? Catch another one right here, though. Okay, let's see it. Bet. Bet I'll catch one before you. Okay, let's do it. Ten dollars. <laughs> Where even are they? Oh, big and giant, dude. Absolutely. Dude, that is beautiful. It is gorgeous. That is just, I love seeing that. I like seeing a, a wild creature with a hook in its face just aggressively try to escape my greasy Ooh, yeah. I'm just. Oh, oh, I own one, by the way. No, you didn't. Yeah, I just caught one. Wait. Get him. Oh, nice feet, good one. Is that a fish? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh nice my one. My God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. It didn't look that big at first. No, it didn't. <laughs> nice one. I guess it's five, six pounder. Dude, Kyle went crazy style on that hook <laughs> set. That was nuts. It's like we're fishing the flats for reds. That is a good one, man. I love when they jump in that shot. We might do it again. How do these compare to the PK bass? Better. Go way harder. Yeah. Put some beans on it. It's a 10 pound test. You're good. Put some beans on that on that old girl. <laughs> but he's out of, Kyle's out of breath right now. Oh, dude, it's a good one. That's a nice fish. Yoink. Got him. Abducted. Dude, got she, his ass. She's barely hooked. That's why I was finessing it, bro. There you go. Wanna put it on a scale? Yeah, of course. That is, goes just below five. Five three. Ooh. Five pounds, seven ounces. That's a freaking nice, but they're short and stocky yeah. in here. Yo, what up, guys? We're um, out here. Just caught dinner. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, sorry. How many fish do you think? Yeah. Probably 40 fish, best five, went over 25. It's not bad, honestly. About a six, some fives. We're now gonna head back and celebrate. Tomorrow we're gonna fish. We're gonna try to switch things up. I know wacky worming is not the most exciting, fun way to catch them. We did get on a decent little glide bite there for like five milliseconds, but moved a lot of really big fish with that glide. I mean, I saw a fish that was probably 10, 11 pounds come right to the boat today. Oh my God, my shit's fucked up. Oh, look, look at the size of that one, dude. That's a 10 pounder. Holy king. The thing was like, it made the six like look tiny, tiny. So 
So we're gonna try some new waters tomorrow as well, fish some fresh stuff, fresh stuff. And for now, just rig some rods, have a couple drinks, have some food, maybe some burgers, and just, you know, bring you guys along with the experience of just fishing, just fishing. That's all this is, just fishing. Uh, we got some burgers that were uh, left in the boat, not in the cooler overnight, and then put in the fridge this morning. So, seasoned it with some Flavor Bomb Burger seasoning. John bought this, so we'll see how that is. And then we ran out of provolone because John used the provolone for breakfast this morning instead of using the Mexican cheese uh, for the breakfast. So we were too short on the provolone. Um, so those will be John's. John gets to eat the shredded cheeseburgers. Oh, and then also, we don't have anything else to put on the burgers. We could put some organic balsamic dressing or some syrup. Cheers. Caleb, cheers. Not you. All right, now you can get it. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, cheers all around, especially to you guys for sticking with this video. Like I said, it's not over, but I figured I'd hop on the camera real quick and say good night, farewell, and we'll catch you in the morning. That it was a great day, but hopefully tomorrow we can improve. We can catch, instead of 25 pounds of bass, maybe 30 pounds of bass. That's been my goal since I've learned about this lake as sort of fishing for the past couple of weeks. I need to crack 30 out here, or ideally 35 or 40. That's what everyone wants to catch in Texas, a 40 pound bag. But I think it can be done. Saw some really big fish today. I think we're just gonna have to switch things up. It's fun throwing the whack room, it's very effective, but there is generally a specific tier of fish that are eating that right now. Um, and that is some smaller bites. Although I think previously, a couple weeks ago, those big fish were eating the, uh, eating the stick baits, even eating, eating the lunker logs. But big swim baits tomorrow, some new stuff. We're just gonna switch things up. So we'll catch you guys bright and breezy in the morning. We're gonna have a couple cocktails, eat some burgers, and wind down. See you in the AMs. Good morning, wieners. We bid farewell to our beautiful Airbnb here on this amazing lake. And uh, I just picked the boys up at the state park because we couldn't leave our, our trailer at the Airbnb. Anyway, that's unnecessary information. What is necessary information is that is we have a whole day to go crank some LMBs, some green means. And uh, this is Kyle's last day with us and pretty much our last day forever. of fishing as well, forever. I'm, it was such an awful trip that I'm actually cutting all ties with this kid. No, it's been a lot of fun. I'm the type of guy to like always wanna improve. I mean, I'm sure you guys are too. No one wants to go out in the water and not catch more fish than they did previously. No one wants to go out there and catch less fish than they did previously, but today I want to catch more fish, and the main goal is to try to get a 30-pound sack. In order to do that, we need like a six-pound average, which is kind of a lot, but we've caught six-pounders out of here. We've caught eight-pounders out of here, and uh, it's definitely doable. My uh, homie is all vested up, ready for if I hit an iceberg. Did you bring a lifeboat? Off that tree. <laughs> oh, dude, on the way here, I um, was looking at you calling, and I kept trying to answer it, and I'm like maybe 20 yards from the point that point that sticks all the way out there with the big rock on it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, another second, yeah. So that was Caleb's fault for calling me. I, I almost- called you again. Yeah, I should've called me again and I would've definitely hit it. But um, yeah, stick with us, stay tuned. Let's we'll see if we can make day two better than day one. Good one. First fish of the day, not giant, but is it bass? They are shallow still. That's a good sign. Okay, wow, there we go, first fish. Not a giant, but not terrible. Ooh, a little bit darker up here, a little more pale. First fish of the day. <laughs> Gotta cherish the, the first bite of the morning. Nice LMB up shallow. It's crazy how cold it's been, but it hasn't pushed these fish off their uh, warm water spots. We've had like consistent 70 to 80 degree days down here, and now it's dropped, but these fish are still shallow doing their thing. That's a little busy. Kiss him, say goodbye. Oh, oh, good one. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Oh yeah, nice one, dude. Nice one, dude. Number two. This is just, it's like in a foot of water. This, is, this thing has nowhere to go but out.
Good one. Nice start. Ooh, swollen too. Reel it all the way to the tip and then flip it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Pass. Three pounder. I'll take it. Fish number. Do you like that I'm facing the camera this time? <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's what we like. It's a good fish. Right? Yeah. You like we this like, one? We like that one. It's a good fish. It's better than your fish. It is better than my fish. Bye bye. Bass number two. Seven. Inches. Right in the corner of the mouth, right where you want him. PK is completely up right now. I, know, I saw that. It's really good. I think all the lakes are up for you. Yeah. Nice. Seven. Or was that eight? I think he's eight. Eight, yeah. I got some bogus back there, you know. Some what? Bogus. What's that? Bogus drips. Imagine they just open up the gates on us right now. Evacuate. Yeah. Evacuate. Water rising. Water rising. There you go. Better one? A lot of little ones today, no? Not at all. Pretend though, we're in the doubles. Double digit. Not the right one, though. No. That is fish number 10. We're in the double digits now, just not in size, just numbers. See, Bubba? Yeah, literally. I'd have just property, like maybe a half an acre, build a ramp on it. Oh, fish. That might be good. That oh, is yeah. A good one. Is better. That's a nice one, dude. That's a really nice one. Anyway, hold that thought. Oh, boy, come here. Oh, God. Oh! This is a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> Golly, dude. Anyway, uh, I'll continue my story later. <laughs> that is so freaking much fun. Look, he's about to go again. Ah, oh, it's a pagan. We need like, literally, we need five of these today to get that 30 pound mark. Oh, it's a pagan. That is a pagan. You can just tell it's a big fish when they bite too. The bite is so much different than those little guys. It's probably gonna go close to six. Oh. Yeah, dude, that's a nice Buddy. <laughs> Choke it too. Absolutely choked the long girl. That is why we were throwing these weightless plastic, plastics right now is because these fish can just doink, get it right down their gullet. Whew, very nice bass. Might be one of the biggest ones of the trip. We're gonna put them on the scale. What a beast. Probably close to six, man. Wouldn't be six if not for that gut, though. Let's put them on the scale. That is fish number 11. It is a very nice one. We're fishing some new territory today. I have not been up the river. Any guesses? 6'1. Let's say 6'10. Six, six, Ooh. Six pound, 10 ounces. We said 6'5", nailed it. <laughs> Almost six and a half pounds. Very good bass. One last look and then we're gonna get her back up in the shallows. Kiss him, spank him, in the back. Bye-bye, buddy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy, get down there. Oh! Get a bigger one. We need four more of those and we got 30 pounds. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Light work, light work. This is definitely the earliest we've caught a big one, so let's keep eating. There it is. Yeah, get him. Good oh, dude. No, nice it's all right. Good fish, though. 17. Boat, you're supposed to say boat flip? Put me on the classic. Number... 17. Number yeah. 17. 17. Good looks. Twenty. Twenty. Might be a good one. Nope. Fish number twenty. Got twenty bass before twelve. Yoink. A lot this size, but at any moment, you can catch an absolute Mondo Freak. Just like back there, got a six pounder. That wasn't a Mondo Freak, but it was a good one. Six pounder, we'll take that. I'm trying to get, like I said, 30 pounds today, but we've already broken the 20 fish mark. 
Unbelievable. This lake is nuts. Thanks, little dude. See ya. Let's keep eating. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Nice one. 22. Bro looks into a fish and goes, oh, wow, when he knows every fish in here fights like it's triple its size. <laughs> Literally, you can visibly see the stench coming off of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Finally, something different. Oh, it's a good one. That's fun. Literally jig just, fish? Literally just switched to a, uh, switched to a swim jig with a love grub. Because <laughs> I just got so tired of like throwing a spinning rod. And first freaking cast with that, I got absolutely smoked. Dude, that fish choked it. Woo! That's a good one. A healthy high three pounder. Look at that fish. Look how he ate it. Oh man, that's that's fun. We've been doing a lot of spinning rod fishing recently, and I just have to take a breather from it. So, one amazing way to get fish shallow is to uh, throw it like a half ounce, or sorry, not a half ounce, but like a three eighths ounce swim jig or like a quarter ounce swim jig. And uh, on the back, I got a little love grub. Kyle's over there just peeing in my spot. I'm trying but to. But he's pee peeing. I'm just chumming. There we go. <laughs> I know, it did so much going on. Dude, it's too hectic. I can't yeah, my focus. ADHD is like off the wall. Nice three pounder. Kyle's peeing. Geese are honking. Bass are biting. It's springtime. Kiss him. Bank him. Sand him back. Let's get another. That was cool. 29. Um, oh, quad. Nice. Is it? Yeah. Tis a guad. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. New species. It's kind of cool when you're fishing these uh, South Texas lakes. You can also have the opportunity to catch not only a largemouth, but a Guadalupe bass. Native to Texas. I think it's our state fish here in Texas. Really cool. Came up in just a couple feet of water. They're so pretty. They don't get very big, but they are fun to catch. Thanks, little guadly. That's 29, by the way. Fish number 29. We are a bite away. We are a bite away from busting 30. Oh. <laughs> did you lose one? Yeah, I did. Another quad? Uh, no. Oh, small one. I couldn't tell what it was. It was a red eye? Was it a Swahini bass? It was a- um... Shoal bass? <laughs> was it a red eye bass? White bass. White bass. I'm actually really pissed we didn't get a chance to do any white bass fishing this year. I am too, honestly. I heard they're running. I mean, I told you that's what I wanted to do. It's the only reason why I wanted to go fishing. 20, 30. 30. 30. 30. That's a large mouth. You could tell. How can you tell? You could tell by the way it is. He's been caught before, too. Poor guy. Birdie. We broke it. Let's even get, let's even get 40. I think now we're on to 40. I think it's easily doable. I think it's possible. Jinx. Just jinx ourselves. Got one. <laughs> there she is. Oh boy, it's starting to rain. Maybe not. Put that camera away, honestly. We'll just keep fishing. This is 42. Bass number 42. Kyle's hooked up. We just doubled technically. We we're about to get absolutely swamped by a storm. But luckily we've got our rain gear on and uh, we're just gonna weather it out. We're gonna put the big camera away. We're just gonna keep lunker logging it. Unless it gets really bad, then we should probably get in. Oh look, these guys are going in. That guy's going in. This guy's going in. There's another bass boat out there. Everyone's going in. I don't know, man. I think we rough it. The bite usually pops off during a nice storm front like this. It's up to you. I'm gonna rough it. Look, they're biting. They're biting like crazy style. They're biting like crazy style, dude. They're biting like crazy style, dude. That's 44? 43. What is that? 43? 43. Cow's on. That's 47. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Jesus. It's a good one. It's a really good one. It's a really good one. Oh my gosh, dude. Keep him out of the trolling water. 
Oh, it's like a six pounder, dude. It's your biggest fish in the trip. Oh, <laughs> dude, no way. It's a big one. It's a big one. Kyle's hooked up to probably the biggest, one of the biggest fish of the trip. Downpouring. It, it is pouring. All the bass boats have already left. Everyone's getting out of here. We said, screw it, man. We're grinding. That's a really nice fish. Oh, it's six pounder, I think. Five for sure. Oh, I got her. <laughs> Nice Whoa. job, man. Let's go. <laughs> Five pounder. <laughs> Absolutely dumping. This is awesome. It's weighing. Oh, wow. 513. High five. Hold her up one more time. Nice fish. Dude, it's so gross out. <laughs> it's coming down so hard right now. <laughs> nice one, brother. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Oh. Was that 60? Wow, that was so cool. Ate on the surface. What the f is going on right now? Wow, that was so cool. Buddy lit the f piss up out of that 70. Uh, come here. 70. 70. Sexy 70. day is finished sadly we have to close this chapter on this amazing lake we totaled 76 fish on this very boat in a matter of less than a completely full day of fishing all thanks to the mvp the lunker log so much fun fishing with kyle and getting out here and cranking some freaking bass we had some insane weather that rolled in and it made things soggy i mean i got water come out of my sweatshirt but all in all, it was fun. We didn't get that 30 pound sack, but we did catch more fish than we did yesterday, which was insane. It was good linking up with Kyle. I have not hung out with him in, in quite some time and be able to do it on this amazing body of water makes it extra special. We're peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys for watching yet another episode. We'll catch you on the next one of Just Fishing. As always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.